One interesting thing that you would at least concede that has happened is that it seemed like BJP was actually going to be the main challenger. They did uh, very well in the municipal elections in Hyderabad. They won four seats in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, including uh, defeating your own sister, which you know many thought was at that time unthinkable. Uh, but somehow BJP seems to have collapsed. Congress now has emerged as the main contender. That at least you well, would concede. No change. I, I, no, no, absolutely. Six months or probably nine months before this, hmm. before today, I'd hmm. say. Uh, you would give BJP probably a little more uh, uh, <coughs> credit hmm. for being a contender. But now, uh, the situation is one where BJP has completely collapsed. And that vote probably has shifted a bit to Congress. So therefore, whatever noise you see happening, etc., etc., is primarily for the second spot. You know, BJP was in the second spot. Now Congress is trying to take over the second spot. So the first spot, rest assured, is with us. The second contender, okay. the runner-up position is... Now it also okay. between the, the two. Re the reason why the punditry or the general <coughs> analysis is seeing a narrowing of the race, and of course you will you will be wanting to rebut this, is a number of factors. One, this constant kind of narrative which the Congress seems to have grabbed, that you are the B team of each other, <laughs> right? Uh, no, TRS is the TRS is the B team of the BJP. You you have backed them on key legislation. <coughs> they are going soft on you when it comes to you know cases against your sister, uh, not arresting her. These are all, they say, signs of a match fixing. Okay, let me let's, let's take it one by one. Let's look at the BT. BT allegation, right? If supporting key legislations is an issue, and if that makes you believe that we are in cahoots with them, then I would say Congress has also supported the same legislations. And, and let, let me come. But let, let me come to no, a specific legislation. Mayor, mayor, mayor. One second, one second. On 370, on <coughs> supporting them on Article 370, yes. that is a core agenda of the BJP, and some say part of a core Hindutva agenda. Uh -huh. That you want to remove special status of India's only Muslim majority state you also strip it of statehood. Now, is that something which you find defensible that you no, supported them? No, listen, there are two things I'll tell you. 370, yes, we were clear that we wanted to actually ensure, we wanted to ensure hmm. that we support the government on that issue, that specific issue only because, only because, hmm. you know, there are, there are different, you know, thought processes within the country as well. But I'm not, see, on but the whole, statehood. I mean, you are such strong advocates for federalism, right? See, what what, what was what what was mentioned in UT. the uh, mm -hmm. no no what was mentioned in the bill that the statehood would be restored. Please don't forget that statehood would be restored in a time-bound manner. Has it it has not huh. hasn't happened yet, of course, but it was mentioned okay. also. Okay. So it was not stripping off something completely. It was merely ensuring that level playing field is created with the rest of the country. Whether you, somebody would... You you still stand by that call? No, or do you, or in hindsight, no, no, do you feel I'm, that may have been a mistake? Hindsight, I think it was a mistake. Hindsight, you think supporting... It was Modi absolutely was a mistake. mistake. Supporting Modi on anything was a mistake. That's what I believe. But why, why on this? Why do you think this was a mistake? Well, it was because, you know, I think what was promised was that it was a temporary thing. Hmm. But it ended up not to be. Now it seems like a perpetuity. So, definitely it's a mistake because... Not just this, I mean GST for instance, and even uh, uh, several other bills which we supported with the, under the premise, with the premise, with the understanding that you know, Sampurna Kranti ki taraf hum ja rahe. We supported Demonet. It's a huge mistake, huge embarrassment to us, all of us who ever spoken, uh, you know, uh, in for demonetization. This is quite a frank admission. It is, uh, it is, yes, it you're is. saying that